regards to the search, the ongoing search for Brittany T in Brookfield today. What we had is uh, multiple state agencies and local partners coming together. We're getting more and more resources that are helping with, with the search today. And I want to thank some of them. We have the Massachusetts uh, State Police Air Wing, who was in the air today doing a flyover, working with the Brookfield Police Department, the State Police Emergency Response Team, also known as the CERT Team, the State Police K-9 Unit, Massachusetts Environmental Police, the Department of Conservation and Recreation, State Police Crime Scene Services, the Brookfield Police Department, Brookfield Fire Department, and the State Police Detectives assigned to the Worcester DA's office. We've also had office of help from the Worcester Police Department, their cadet, and we're also state police. We also have the cadet services that we're looking um, to get involved as well. As you, as you can see, there's an awful lot of people involved in this, doing as much as they can to help us find some answers. Also, very importantly, we've had some great tips that have come in, but uh, you know, some people are afraid to give tips because they're not anonymous. Well, we have an anonymous tip line on uh, that we'd like to people to call with any information that they might have. And we'd ask you to call at 508 Four five three seven five eight nine. This will help our investigators immensely. Again, the anonymous tip line, and it can be anonymous to anyone who wants it to be. We just want you to call. Don't want you to have any reservations or fears about calling. It's 508-453-7589. Uh, also, everyone who has called in with tips, thank you. Uh, they've helped us insofar as pointing us what we believe in the right direction. These things always... You know, they never have a time timeline. They work themselves out slowly, but it does allow us to move more quickly when we can eliminate different things. And that's what the tips have been doing for us. Uh, again, if you got video in your house, say, don't say, well, it couldn't have been her. She might not have been out here. Check your, check your video. I know people get home from a, a day of work. It, it's something that they're not looking exactly to do, but it can help us. It can help the family. It can help the searches. It can help everyone involved here. Um, also, check your campus, check your buildings, check your garages, check your sheds. Anything that is a spot where a person may look to get out of the elements, um, just take a look. As a reminder, Brittany was seen last Tuesday on January 10th leaving a residence on Main Street in Brookville. She's 35 years old, 5'6", 120 pounds, blue eyes, and was last seen wearing a black winter coat, footy, jeans, and work boots. Uh, that's all pretty much we have for today. I'll take a few questions after the chief speaks. Uh, we're going to let the investigators do their work. They're professionals, and you don't see everything that they're doing. But, but, but when I tell you, it, it's amazing, the work that they do, the intelligence in, in the um, experience they bring to bear when we have these situations. It's just amazing. It's very uplifting, and it's helpful to the family. Um, again, I, I want to reiterate, uh, it's a search. It's not a crime scene. Um, in, Everyone we're talking to has been cooperative. It's not a crime scene. In this search, everyone that we're talking to has been cooperative, and we thank them for that. Chief? Thank you for coming out. Again, I'm Chief Mike Blanchard, Brookfield Police Department. I want to thank everyone that's called in tips so far. Um, I want to remind everyone of the new tip line number to streamline tips, and it's 508-453-7589. And I continue to encourage people to call in tips as they have them, no matter how big or small they think they may be. Um, I also understand that, that the longer this goes on, the more frustration and, and anxiety builds amongst people. But I want to remind everyone to remain positive, keep Brittany and her family in your thoughts and prayers, and, and continue to hope for a, a safe return of Brittany. And I also want to thank Brookfield Chai, Fire Chief for being his well and his men and women who are also giving a hand with this. Uh, yeah, do you think she's still in the area here? Do you think she was kidnapped? Um, we, we have nothing, Scott, that would suggest she was kidnapped. We do believe she's in the area. Um, there, there are multiple possibilities. Um, that's why we're asking for help. Again, it's, it's a search. It's not a crime scene. It's a search. How many of those people, citizens, who are out there searching? We've seen them today. Yeah. It's not getting in the way. Anything that they could do, if they see something suspicious, everyone's got a cell phone, pick up your phone, call the uh, Brookfield Police Department, call the state police tip line, um, make a quick call. If there's anything that you see at all you think might be helpful, to, I, I, I can't stress it enough. Any little bit of information you might not find relevant, but to the police, it, it just it's, it's like a, a puzzle. It keeps building on uh, blocks that are already there to help us get to where we want to be, and that's getting, finding Brittany. Uh, I, I think it's up to about three miles now, uh, but, you know, 
it, it will get even bigger. Um, anything that anything that we need to do with, with regards, they they need to do with regards to the search. They're going to do. We're looking at our cell phone right now. We, we have our cell phone, we have our laptop. Those are the things we're looking at. We have our car that's that's been inventoried uh, by the Brookfield Police Department uh, yesterday. Uh, we, so you do have a cell phone and a laptop? Yes. No, 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 that, no. Um, I wasn't involved in the search, but I, I, the search I did witness the other day was going through her car. I think she has a white Jeep, something like that, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. He is the last person that saw her being cooperative with the police in terms of what he knows. Yeah. Yeah, he is. But he's not a suspect in her No, again, Scott, there are no suspects right now. He, um, her boyfriend's been very cooperative with us. Everyone's been very cooperative with us. And, and, and you know, and, and it, that is encouraging. We've been through a lot of these investigations. When you get everyone cooperating, is it a good sign? Yes in terms of whether or not it's a search or a crime scene. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Listening to the Worcester County DA Joe Early give an update on what investigators have been doing in Brookfield today. Uh, right now, let's just listen to the We do bit not more. have her cell phone. We have her laptop. We do not have her cell phone. Um, and we're looking to get the records on that. Okay? Yeah, well, right now it's part of the investigation. She had the cell phone. She had the cell phone. The cell phone's with her. Okay? Thank you. Okay, DA Joe Early just clarifying that one piece of information about Brittany T's cell phone. You want to be anonymous, they'll be anonymous. All right, thank you, everybody. 35-year-old Brittany T. of Brookfield has been missing for a week now. Uh, she was living there with her boyfriend. She was last seen wearing a black winter jacket, hoodie, jeans, and work boots. And Massachusetts State Police expanded their search today in the hopes of trying to find anything that will lead them to finding Brittany. Uh,